Come on in, let's build something. Okay, welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Today we're gonna to take, we're gonna make use of more, I'm trying to use up some of my scrap material to good uses, and I've got some of this plywood, and um, it's three quarter inch plywood, and it was, it was from my forms that I used down on my shop project. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna check these dimensions, 39.5 by 48.75. Okay, that's all good. Now what I want to do is I want to make some boxes. So we're going to go up here to Gadget and go to Box Creator. And we're going to, our width is going to be 20.75. And that's allowing a half inch on each side for the, for the, the guide bearings, um, the slides. Depth is going to be 18, and we're and we're allowing about an inch behind the drawer, and the height is going to be nine inches. Joint width is 1.5. We don't need a lid, so we're going to leave that unchecked, but we'll have all these other ones checked. We're going to do square tabs. You can do dovetails, but I'm going to do square tabs. Okay, flat lid, and we already have the tool right there. Four six one seven six. I'll show you a picture of that right here. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Now that did exactly what I wanted it to do. So there's the bottom right there. Um, the two sides, actually all four sides, front and back. OK, next up we'll go check that toolpath. And we're going to just check it, preview it. It should do tabs. So let's preview visible toolpath. Did it leave tabs? Oh yeah, there, you can see the tab in between there, right there. And then you can see one over here. One, two there. Okay, so this looks good. So you can see how easy that was. Now all we have to do is take this over to the CNC machine and cut this out. I'll meet you over there. Okay, right off the bat, the first one that I do is a mistake. Now, the I XYZ it, and this is an eighth inch bit. I'll show you a picture of it right here uh, by a mana. Now, this is 20 times speed. And basically, the mistake I made was I decided to, I decided to move. I went back in the drawing, and I moved the templates around on the material. And, and then basically I, I went ahead, instead of using the gadget uh, toolpath, I just took those, um, I created a new profile toolpath. And you cannot do that. It won't, it's not gonna, fo it's not gonna follow the same way as the, the gadget toolpath. Now what it did was it cut all the sizes out perfectly, but the, the female and male uh, square tabs were wrong. And uh, you'll see that when I take it over to the bench. But these are these are the things that are important to, you know, failures create success. So you got to have a few failures, and then you see what works and what doesn't work. The other thing that I did was the material. I shot the, all the material down with um, plastic nails with my with my vinyl nail gun, and that w that worked really well. The only problem was. Some of the pieces, um, they didn't cut quite all the way through because it, it, the material wasn't quite as flat as I thought it was on, on, the, on the bench here. Anyway, the Avid CNC does a really good job of cutting them out. The Amana cutter worked really well. Now right here, I get them all popped out. I take them over and I noticed a couple spots that didn't, didn't uh, cut all the way through. So I use a flush trim bit and just run it around on my uh, my Jesm router and just clean them up a little bit. Now at this point, I didn't realize these things were not fitting. So when I put them all together, I noticed there was like a quarter inch gap um, on all the joints. And that's because I, re I redid the tool myself. So this time I did the same thing with the box creator except I didn't do any changes. I just let the box creator do what it wants to do, and, and that's the way you need to do it. Now, 
this is so these things take about I would say 45 minutes each, each one because this is basically this video is I, I cut out two. The first one was a mistake and then I cut this one out which was perfect. So you do every, anything you do you're, you're learning and um, so now I know you know don't try to change the wheel. Another thing that I did was I reset my Z height. Um, it was on an eighth inch and I reset it to a quarter inch, I believe, or a half inch. So when it came up and moved over to start, start a new cut, it would have plenty of clearance because I did break a bit that way. I, and I believe it actually was on this piece of wood right here. When it gets to the final, where it finally cuts it out, it, um, it goes to the, the plywood had popped up a little bit and when the plywood popped up a little bit in the in that top left hand corner right there when the bit went to move it 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 broke and it broke right there it's already broke so i end up uh i end up putting a new bit in making sure the material was all down and then and then recutting it Right here, I'm recutting it with a new bit, and um, and all is well. So this drawer, this second one came out perfect, and um, they do take a little. I mean, of course, this is three quarter inch plywood, which you really normally you'd probably make some drawers out of half inch. But since I had three quarter, and I wanted to make some good use out of it, and I needed drawers in my shop, I decided to just. Uh, Go ahead and use some of this three quarter and make some drawers. Now I've got another piece of plywood underneath this, um, kind of as the sacrificial one, to uh, that way it doesn't cut into my um, my T track spoil board. I did put the timer on here just to show you how long it takes to make these. Now this is basically two drawers and it's taken about an hour and 44 minutes to do two drawers from start to finish. So about, you know, an hour a piece you could, so you could batch out. Um, this size drawer you could do eight of them in a day pretty easy. And I'm actually going to make another one right after this so I'm gonna uh, this particular cabinet's gonna have um, three of the same size drawer and that should really help with uh, storage in my little workshop it's always fun to learn something new matter of fact I'm getting ready to start um, designing a piece of furniture and we'll see how that goes. The next thing I, I'm going to design is a um, a bar stool, and with the with the tops. And I'm thinking about cutting the legs from the scrap two by four. That I, I have a lot of scrap two by fours that are like four feet long, and I'm thinking of making some jig to basically cut the legs out of those two by fours. We'll see how that works. Anyway, this is 20 times speed, and I guess we could skip this part and go to the final, the final product. Okay, so we have two boxes here. The first one, which was this one, I'm going to tell you the mistakes that I made. Now, the box creator, or the in the gadgets on the Aspire software, the box creator, it'll do the job, it'll work fine. The only setting that I would change is when you're setting up your material, uh, before you even click the box creator, set your Z height to come up a little bit because what happens is if your plywood, let's say your plywood has a little bit of warp to it and then when it cuts out and it does that final cut and let's say the plywood pops up a little bit when it when that bit goes to move to another to the next cut it, it could break um, 
if it, if it hits that piece that's kind of come up a little bit. So what I did is I, so this first one, the first one that I did, um, the failure was I tried to, I tried to move my pieces around and really you just need to let the box creator do its thing. Um, because what I did was I, I repositioned my material and then I thought, okay, I'll create my own tool path and I created my own tool path, but you can see that it did a profile path and it cut the female joints too big and the, and the uh, male joints too small. So I went ahead and glued it and nailed it together because it's going to be a shop drawer, so I think I could still use it. So that was the first, that was the first one. Now the second one, I, I did everything according to the, the box creator. I didn't change any settings except for the, the material or the Z clearance height and it came out perfect. Matter of fact, it's really nice and tight, and uh, this is gonna be a really nice drawer. So now that I have that setting, I'm gonna go ahead and make, um, I can go ahead and batch out a few more of these same size drawers. And you can see this thing fits nice and tight. Get this one in there. Now that's, that's a nice tight drawer. So the box creator, you just can't, you don't want to try to reinvent the wheel. Let the box creator just put in your material dimensions, click on the box creator and gadgets, then put in your material um, height, width, and depth, and let the box creator just do its thing, and, and it'll come out really nice. Um, I've had a couple failures in the beginning, but yeah, this was a total success. And you can see on the joints, they're, they're really nice tight joints. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time later.